Hi, I'm Alex Ritter and I'm a radiation oncologist at the WVU Cancer Institute. Um, so cholangiocarcinoma is a rare cancer that arises from the bile duct, which is the structure that connects the liver and the gallbladder to the intestines and plays an important role for digestion. So a lot of the signs and symptoms that can occur with cancers of the bile duct relate to the blockage of uh, bile flow into the intestines. So this can include yellowing of the skin or eyes, which is called jaundice, itching of the skin, uh, dark urine, pale stools. Many of these cancers can also present with more generalized or vague symptoms like abdominal pain, um, decreased appetite, weight loss, and fever. So the way that bile duct cancers are treated depends on how advanced the cancer is when it's diagnosed. Um, so for many patients whose cancer has not spread outside of the bile duct, treatment often consists of surgery to remove the cancer, um, which is often followed by chemotherapy and sometimes radiation therapy, both of which can decrease the chance of the cancer coming back later. Some patients uh, have tumors that are either too large or in a location that prevents surgery from being possible. Um, and in these patients, often a combination of chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and radiation therapy can be used to control the tumor and try to prevent it from spreading. For patients whose cancer has already spread outside of the bile duct to other areas of the body, typically chemotherapy and immunotherapy are the main treatments that are used although radiation therapy can be used in uh, certain cases to treat specific areas that may be causing symptoms. And finally, in select cases, uh, liver transplant can actually be performed um, to treat the cancer, although this requires evaluation at a facility that specializes in this kind of treatment. For patients uh, with bile duct cancer who are recommended to receive radiation therapy, WVU has a number of radiation oncology locations throughout the state, uh, which allows patients to receive appropriate cancer care close to home. And if you or a loved one is diagnosed with bile duct cancer and you'd like some more information, you can visit our website at wvucancer.org.